I had somebody tell me I was miserable today. I didn't I didn't know how to quite respond to that. I've done a lot of a lot of things in the last couple of years. There've been some ups and downs, some trials and tribulations. We've had some our share of issues. Been a lot of things. Miserable. It's not one of them. I don't want to compare notes. I don't want to throw shade at people. I don't want to say that my life is better than anybody else's. But there are very few people in life who can say, I am married to my best friend. I wake up every morning and go to sleep every night next to the most wonderful person I have ever known. I have watched my son grow from a arrogant, self-entitled little prick to a full-grown adult. Self-entitled little prick. <laughs> he's still an asshole. But he's smart. And he's clever. And there have been ups and downs. And we have invited people into our home who wished us harm. We have opened ourselves to people in an attempt to be nice only to be portrayed in the strictest sense of the word. I was fired from a job from mistakes from my past, laid off from a job that was my dream job. So I've been a lot of things. Miserable is not one of them. You see, it's really easy for people who are so devout in their faith and so determined to believe what they believe that they would turn a blind eye to truth. That if it doesn't fit into the narrow window of the little bubble they've constructed for themselves, everything else must be a lie. I am a lot of things. Open-minded has to be number one on that list. Because if you can explain to me the error of my ways, I am comfortable with being able to accept new information into my narrative and adjusting. Not very many people can say that. So, yes, I am I'm a great many things. I am a father. I'm a husband. I'm a brother. I'm an uncle. I'm a Starfleet captain, goddammit. Miserable is not on that list, I assure you. I've had my ups and downs, my, my trials and tribulations and struggles, and we ain't out the woods yet, homie. Like, I'm still sitting here waiting for tax money to come in so that I can pay off these bills and move forward. So, yes, there are a lot of things in my life that I could be. Miserable will never be one of them. And that doesn't come from a place of arrogance or entitlement. I don't think that I'm better than anybody else, but I can tell you with some assuredness. I wake up with a smile on my face. I go to sleep as a beautiful woman with her head on my chest every night. And in the middle of the night when she wake up and realize that for whatever reason I'm not touching her, <clears throat> <clears throat> And she will nudge at me until I roll back over and I hold my woman. That's a lot of things, but miserable ain't it. You see, I'm open-minded enough to see things for what they are. To accept things as they are. See, I don't deal with what if. I deal with what is. I'm not worried about what's possible. I'm not worried about what's probable. I'm worried about what's happening right now. What can I do right now? What is reliable? What I can stake a claim on to say, this is going to happen. See, I don't have faith that my tax money is coming because I am owed that. I worked hard. I busted my ass last year for that. So I, I never looked forward to unemployment and said, oh my God, I got to have faith that it's coming. No, I earned that. This tax money coming, nice return. I did okay. I earned that, and it's coming, and I know that it's coming. No faith required. No, no, no supernatural force needs to affirm that for me. 
the government said, here's how much we owe you. So no, I'm a lot of things. Right now I'm a little hot. Right now I'm a little bit gassy because I had a bowl of cinnamon spice life cereal. And life cereal makes me gassy. I have to poop. I'm probably going to sit down and I'm going to do some writing. I'm going to spend some time with my woman and maybe some nasty things might happen. I'm a lot of things. And as you have watched, this is video number 700, and I don't know how many you've been with me for a very long time. And I'm a lot of things. Miserable will never be on that list. Not ever. I can't imagine. Even, not with you. even <laughs> when I got fired from DSP and I sat in my chair, which is the daddy chair, and I just needed to know what was next in my life. And there was a general concern, never miserable. I have not been miserable a day in my life since I met this woman. Won't turn the camera because she going to give me shit about how she's not presentable. Crap, I don't look the best right now. You see that? I'm doing my hair. That's, that's my wife. <laughs> general order number one on why I can never be miserable. Look at her. Big smile, big pretty eyes. I love this woman. So yeah, a lot of things. Kind of an asshole. Bit of a prick. Kind of arrogant. Overly creative. A little too sensitive sometimes. Very picky eater. Never miserable.